Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a technology and business consulting company that helps organizations initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. This video, along with others on our channel, should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, peer overviews, and take part in lessons we've designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community, and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks, and enjoy. So we're going to, we're going to create a little puzzle here, and by the end of this puzzle, you're all going to be experts on, on multidimensional databases or cubes. So before you, you see a three-dimensional cube with $1,000 in it. That's some piece of data, but that is not information, right? You have no idea what that is. So let's, let's continue adding pieces to our puzzle. Okay, so I've got $1,000 of travel expense. That helps me a little bit, but really not enough for me to answer any questions. So let's add another piece here. Okay, January expenses starting to come, come together a little bit more. Feb, March, all right, quarter one travel expense, $3,075. That's, that's starting to turn some data into some information. Let's add some more. Meals, okay, $750. Laundry expense, $75. And, oh, look at that. They all add up. My travel, meal, and laundry expense add up to my total travel expenses. January, $1,330. February, March, $3,900 for my total first quarter travel expenses. So you might look at that and say, yeah, so that's an Excel spreadsheet. I've got rows and columns, big deal. So what separates this technology from a spreadsheet, obviously, is, is, is the depth or the third dimension. So if we add another slice to this or add some depth to it, you can see now that we're looking at my actual first quarter travel ex total travel expenses of $3,900. And I also might have budget travel expenses for the first quarter. Let's say they're about $4,000. So now I'm really starting to turn this data into information. And that's what this is all about. Like We'll keep talking about that the whole presentation. I've got $3,900 of actual travel expenses. I've got $4,133 of budgeted travel expenses for the first quarter. Still don't have everything that I need to, to really answer the question. So this doesn't really tell me, for my organization, what am I looking at. So for example, if we add a, a final piece to this puzzle, now I can answer any question about this piece, uh, th this subset of data that someone might ask me. So my sales department, 2010, first quarter, total travel expenses, actual expenses, 3,900, budgeted expenses, $4,133. So we're talking about multi-dimensional databases now. What you're looking at here is, is really what's called in, in the S-based world a data block. So you've got a lot of intersections here, uh, a term used a lot in the multi-dimensional world. Everything is stored in intersections. For example, my travel expense for January actuals is $1,000. So if you see, that's an intersection. That little cell there that has $1,000 in it is the intersection of my GL account 540000 travel expense with the month of January. And I know it's my actuals. And I know it's for my sales department, FY10. So these cells, everything that has a dollar in it is a cell. These cells make up what's called a data block. And my multidimensional database is, is made up of thousands, millions, uh, many, many millions in, in certain situations or certain instances of these data blocks. So the first component of our S-based solution, 
the multi-dimensional database. The next topic that we said we would cover was dimensions. So we look at our puzzle here. You may not realize it yet, but you already know what a dimension is. We covered it in the, in, in the previous slide in our puzzle. And what do I mean by that? We talked about our total travel expenses. Well, what are all these travel, meal, laundry? What, what are those? those? Those are accounts. So in our example, we have a, one of our dimensions is called the accounts dimension. We also talked about our months, Jan, Feb, March, totaling up to our first quarter. Well, that's, that's called our period dimension. When we added our depth to our puzzle, we added actuals and budget. S-Base calls those a scenario dimension. And the final thing we talked about was, well, what this is, travel expenses for what? It was my sales department. So we have a dimension called department. Sales is one of those departments. You might have marketing, finance, any number of departments in addition to sales. And we also said that we were looking at 2010 numbers. So in addition, so one of the components that makes up our, our S-based solution, we talked about the database. Now you're, you're looking at dimensions. In our example, we have a five-dimensional model, accounts, period, scenario, department, and year. 